Yo, what's going on, guys? This is uh, part two of the uh, whole talk of the my response, really, on the Arizona uh, racist white ladies and their apology. So if uh, you haven't seen part one, please click the annotation on the left-hand side, and let's go to part one, and then get your cute butt over here, no homo, and then we'll continue this whole talk. Okay, so I left off that I have family in Arizona, and uh, they they live there. I go there quite often, actually, and I love going there. It's actually one of my places I, w I would love to move to uh, if I were to ever move out of Texas. Uh, it's a great state. It's a beautiful state. Beautiful homes. Beautiful people. I never had any type of problem with anybody there, really, of all my years of going out there. And like I said, I love going out there. Scottsdale, uh, Phoenix, um, Sedona. I've been to all those places. It's a beautiful state, and it's there. It's it's just a great place to go visit. So I highly recommend it. Now, me as a uh, as a Mexican American, you know, I, I consider myself that uh, I've never really been out there and experienced any type of racism. Now, um, I don't know how other people have felt it, but I, I've been out there quite a bit, and I love going out there. Every time I go out there, I can't wait to go again. Now, let's get back to this whole racism thing. Now, let's talk about how they're saying that in their response that they're not racist. Eh. I can't really agree with that because we are all of us are racist in a way. It's not that we're you know it's not that we hate and we want to do things that the way they mentioned it. Now I'm not saying that they're that they're right for saying that, but then again, let's not be naive and contradict ourselves. You know, I'm not saying that our racism. You know, we're gonna go make a a, a, ra a racist video like they did and go talk to you know another race and we hope that they get get crucified, they all burn alive, yada yada yada. You know the the story they did. But as racism talk within our friends, family, and coworkers, yeah, it it it. it happens quite a bit you know i i've worked with every type of race that you could think of i'm, I'm in texas so a, a variety of races are out here and not racist racist <laughs> uh so i i talked to all of them and like i said everybody has a little bit in there so let's just not be too naive guys okay now the part of the the family of their family being part mexican or that they have a family that's mexican uh quite 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 a bit family in there that they that those girls had uh that kind of shocked me because that, that, you know, I didn't see that at, at all. So that was kind of a shocking. Um, but, you know, the, the other thing is that they actually have to go out there now. Uh, so from, from what they're saying is that they actually have to go out there and hide their faces in public because, you know, they can get recognized and someone could actually try to, you know, maybe hurt them or, or worse. So I, I just don't see why anybody would try to hurt anybody from a video. You know, but, but another thing is, like, how, how do you recognize someone from a video? I, I just, I don't know. I, I couldn't, if I met him in person, I don't even think I would know that was them. So, to say that, I, I don't know, that's 100% true, but, yeah, anyways. So, the other thing, the, the big girl, the third person that was in the video, why are people attacking her? That's another thing. Now, they were saying, you know, the third person here, she just came in and said hi, uh, and whatnot, and, uh, so, yeah, I, I think that, why would you attack a third person that had nothing to do with the video? So, that's just like, you know, uh, I guess like re uh, a news reporter and he gets attacked by someone else that, you know, that, that didn't like what happened in the crime scene. And instead of going, you know, for the actual person, they go for the news reporter. So that's just another way of putting it. Now, these girls are saying that, yeah, they feel that, you know, that full responsibility is on them 100%, yada, yada, yada. And then they also have to also talk about that. They felt like they, you know, it's something that they, they, they regret doing. And I, and I believe that, actually, because I, I mean, who wouldn't? If my video went viral for some stupid thing I did, I would actually feel the same way. Now, I, I just I, I know that it's going to take time to heal because every scar takes time to heal. But let, let's be real, guys. Let's not try to take this out of proportion because it's just a video. You know, they, did they touch somebody? Did they molest somebody? Did they kill somebody? No, they didn't. You know, and I'm just being a realist here. You know, and this is coming from a Mexican-American. I don't. I didn't, I, yeah, it was offensive, but I'm not going to go out there and if I would bump into them, I'm not going to touch them. I'm not going to hit them, nothing, because that just makes you worse than an, a racist person. And, and that kind of shows racism in a way, and maybe not really, but it shows aggression towards a video that is just a video. Like I said, they didn't kill anybody, they didn't, you know, there wasn't child molestation, nothing like that. So there really shouldn't be too much of a threat there. Yeah, it was messed up or whatnot, but I, I just don't think that anyone should go as far as to try to kill these girls, you know, because like I said, some people already have their numbers and they're ready, you know, to go out there to the homes and, and, and bash their heads open with whatever they could find. And, and that's just from what I read around the internet. But, you know, anyways, we all do stupid things. Remember that. And if you'd ever do something stupid, I'm pretty sure he would want 
people for, uh, to forgive you because that's just the reality. We all do stupid stuff to our folks, our family, girlfriends, like I said, and we, we hope that they, you know, that they actually, you know, take our apologies because that's, that's, that's what we can do as human beings. We're idiots. Unfortunately, we're imperfect. So like always, guys, uh, before I actually sign off, this video is from a good friend of mine. His name is Jeremiah, and he is peeing on you, uh, Jayhawk, but they call him more Jayhawk crazy. JJ, he's been with us since the summer of 2011. So uh, this video is about to cut off because the theater mode sucks. So there it goes. And like always, guys, I love it when you like, favorite, and sub to this channel. Until next time, this is your heart of the champion, Mickey CTX, signing off.